Your voice, your vote. Believe it or not, it's just seven months from now that California voters will start to receive their mail-in ballots for the 2024 presidential primary. I mean, seven months, politically speaking, that's like right around the corner. And this year, for the first time in decades, California could play a huge role in deciding the Republican nominee. I spoke with a handful of election experts who say even though this is a deep blue state, Republican candidates will pay a lot of attention to California. While Republican presidential hopefuls like Donald Trump, Ron DeSantis, Mike Pence, and others spent a lot of time this spring in Iowa, it won't be long before they head west. Clearly, California is what I call the big enchilada. Yes, California, with its endless supply of blue skies, blue waves, and blue voters will see red as 2024 heats up. The California GOP primary in 2024 is going to be a critical point. In conversations with Scripps News political correspondent Joe St. George, San Diego political analyst John Dadian, and political research analyst John Neenstedt, all three said the same thing. In 2024, California will play a huge role in picking the Republican nominee. You know, all bets are off, really, I think, in this situation. The calendar is a big part of this. In 2020, California moved its presidential primary from June to March to have more influence over picking the nominees. This cycle, it falls on March 5th, Super Tuesday, along with 12 other states, including Republican strongholds like Texas, Utah, and other parts of the South. Being that early means California can give a candidate momentum. That's why Neenstadt thinks it would be a mistake for candidates to focus on those red states that day and ignore what he calls one of the primary's biggest fish. A win here, a good showing here, continues momentum in a delegate-rich sort of sense. So it gives more solidity to a campaign that does well here. That's because California will send 169 delegates to the Republican National Convention, the most of any state. And instead of basing it on the statewide vote, the winner of each congressional district gets three delegates. So a candidate just needs to win a handful of districts to have a good day. It's going to matter, and it's going to matter who finishes in second place or third place. It could be a moment where you have someone who maybe didn't perform well in Iowa or maybe they didn't perform well in New Hampshire have a bit of a comeback. It could be the moment that Florida Governor Ron DeSantis overtakes former President Donald Trump. Or it could be the day that Trump solidifies his nomination. After all, six million people in California voted for him in 2020. That's more than Texas with 5.9 million, more than Florida with 5.7 million. In fact, Trump got more votes in California than any other state in the nation. These numbers show candidates need to win in California to win the GOP. People forget how big a state California is. I mean, parts of Bakersfield up in central California, you would think you're in the South. Issues like the Second Amendment matter more in rural parts of California. They'll be talking also about uh, inflation and gas prices. They'll be talking about wokeness as well. They'll also be talking about money. Republican presidential candidates will treat it as they've always treated California, which is as an ATM machine. In just the past week, Nikki Haley, Tim Scott, and Ron DeSantis have all held fundraisers in California. More will come to pick up cash and votes. Of course, Republican candidates are going to be cal coming to California. Of course, Republican candidates are going to be campaigning in San Diego County simply because they need the Benjamins in order to keep their campaign uh, going. That's why California, where a Republican hasn't won statewide election since Arnold Schwarzenegger in 2006, will feel the red heat in 2024. So on the Democratic side, President Biden spent a few days in California this week detailing new initiatives on climate change and artificial intelligence. He also held several fundraisers. And the experts I spoke with say California's primary will be just as important for him because a good showing that day could end any hopes of someone else mounting a serious challenge to his nomination.